The video footage you're about to see is a reconnaissance photo flight that we took on September 4th, 2019. One of the first things we noticed when crossing the uh, Bahama Bank was that the water was an eerie uh, sand color. And so what we thought was that the sand had pushed out, but that's not the case. Those are oil streaks on the water. Now if you look off in the distance in this shot, you can see Great Sail Key. Now we make this passage all the time, but as you can see by the color of the water, a bank's crossing at this time would be just inconceivable. Approaching the uh, Treasure Cay Airport, as you can clearly see, the runway is not underwater. It is landable, but there are no reporting facilities at this airport, obviously. We watched these two aircraft land and back taxi despite the reports on the internet. Running down the Boodle Highway, you can see that it's open and clear all the way down to where past the ferry dock. Now the ferry dock was fully operational. We saw boats going in and out of there. But as we approached Treasure Key, we could see where the roads were still underwater. As we approach Treasure Key for the first time, you can see the marina directly at the bottom of the screen, and then you can see the out island and the fingers just to the left. What I need you to keep in mind, though, is that these aerial photos were shot mostly for the Treasure Key residents and people who owned homes here who have not gotten any video footage back via the regular media outlets who are showing mostly Marsh Harbor. Please excuse the shakiness of the camera. We were dealing with 30 knot winds and gusting to 45 and quite a bit of turbulence. First pass over the marina, we can see firsthand the devastation. The boats sunk in their slips, the cats flipped over, and the tipsy seagull missing. Out on the point, Quite a few of the homes are still standing, surprisingly, but most of them sustaining some kind of damage in one form or another. If you look in the background, you can see the trees are all leveled, flat, heading straight towards that house that's been removed clean from its foundation. This is the Treasure Key Golf Course. You can see where it's flooded in a few places and as is the road that goes back to the gas station. As we approach the circle you can see the villas. The first two rows of villas are currently underwater. With the last two rows towards the street sustaining mostly roof damage. As we head straight for the marina, we look off to our right and see quite a few of the, the Bahama Beach Club second floor units are missing their roofs entirety. Making another run at the marina, we realize that our iconic tipsy seagull is not standing. As we leave Treasure Key, we realize that the devastation and destruction that is Hurricane Dorian has left a permanent scar on treasure. As we depart our second home of Treasure Key, we pass by Green Turtle. This is where you've seen most of the footage of the flooding on the bay there, right next to Miss Emily's Blueby Bar. Approaching White Sound, we could clearly see that the big house on top of the hill has met its end. But the Bluff House looks fairly intact. As we head back to the States, we realize there was one section we missed, 
and that is affectionately called the villages. Built by hand by the transplanted now locals of Treasure Key. What you're about to see is very disturbing. This village has been completely destroyed. There's not a inhabitable structure still standing. But we pray to God that everyone survived and is okay. Treasure Key has been an integral part of our lives for over 30 years. As I know many of you watching are in the same predicament of hopelessly watching the news not knowing how your second home is. We hope this aerial footage helps and if there's a specific piece of footage we can slow down and send to you we will gladly do so. Many people have reached out to us personally knowing our connection with Treasure asking how to help. And as of today, thanks to the generous people who share our passion for the Abacos, we have 10 pallets of supplies staged, ready to be transported. We encourage each and every one of you to donate to the relief efforts in any way you can. We have had some people ask how they should donate financially to the restoration of Treasure Key. So we have started a GoFundMe page where 100% of the proceeds will be distributed to the locals for the rebuilding of Treasure Key. Please see the link in the description below for how you can help with that.